uh, in a couple of Alex's videos, the Ryzen 5 3600 was, was used as the closest substitute to the PlayStation 5 CPU due to only 6.5 of the PS5 cores being available to games. Why are only 6.5 out of 8 PS5 cores available while PC can use its utilize its CPU to the full extent. One would, one would assume the overhead of the PS5 OS should be less, not more demanding than the full desktop class OS mm. of Windows and that the PlayStation <laughs> 5 would provide better hardware utilization. Uh, I guess I could answer this one. I think it's about quality of service. Basically, the you know the operating system on PlayStation 5 is given these resources so you know it, it's always consistent performance it always works secondly um i believe that apps can stay in memory resident in memory and resident you know working on the cpu simultaneously with titles mm -hmm. you know, basically an os overhead is is there for a whole bunch of reasons that it's not on a pc um, but alex what does happen on pc basically the os sort of drops into a kind of background mode right yeah when it, it's when it's not the active app on screen I mean, obviously, some things can, like, if for some reason you scheduled an antivirus scan or something like that. Oh, why yeah. even, I honestly, I don't know why people use antivirus software anymore. I haven't since maybe 2010. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, take note, you know, hackers. Take note, yeah. Find me. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm behind, like, six different uh, proxies. You'll never find me. But uh, as a joke. Um, but no, but seriously, the OS is not doing much, actually, when you're gaming. In the background, uh, you can see that just by looking at generic utilization of your hardware using RTSS, or if you wanted running Task Manager in a windowed mode as well. You'll see that the when the when the hardware when you're not doing too much with an OS, it's actually not doing too much to your CPU, and that's one of the reasons I'm PC. But back in the day, actually, um, back in the day means maybe Windows Seven. They introduced or was it Windows 8? They introduced game mode for a certain period of time, and you could toggle that. And the game mode, at least the original implementation of game mode, did what a console does. It would purposely sector off two CPU cores, two CPU threads. I, I don't know, maybe it could have been logical threads. Uh, and it would say, game has no longer access to that. And those are only used for CPU stuff, uh, for uh, Windows stuff. So you could have actually labbed that uh, similar behavior back with the old version of game mode. I actually don't know if game mode really exists in the current state that it does that anymore. I actually don't think it does. Um, I would maybe have to test that, which would be cool to test. Uh, but that's also the reason why. Uh, and in general, I use that CPU because it's also a great price performance thing. And I talked about that in the Gotham Knight video where I said like this was the price performance leader for a while and everyone bought one. It's such a popular CPU if you just look at YouTube comments under our videos. Uh, so that's also another reason why I use it in there. It's not just the near equivalence for a couple of things. But we are finding it's finding its limits. Yeah, know? we totally are. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man Remastered, it's better Gotham than Miles Knights. Morales. Uh, I'll talk about that in the video I made. I don't know. Um, and uh, also, what was another game where I, th oh, that was it. It was Call of Duty Black Ops, Black Ops. 7, I don't know, uh, the, the Cold War. <laughs> There's been so many of them, Cold War, that's what it was. And that on the Broken Arrow level, I think it was called third level, second level of the game, it takes place like in Vietnam or Cambodia, I don't recall, um, where if you have uh, Ray Trace Shadows on, or just Ray Tracing in general there, the game will definitely probably drop below 60 FPS on Ryzen 5 3600. And conveniently, it's the only level in the game where they turn off ray tracing on console. Yeah, um, I think that's Fractured Jaw. Fractured Jaw, sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of, you know, like Guns of Navajo, like all these names, or, or whatever. It's Neverone, Guns of Neverone. Um, yeah. Uh, that's an interesting uh, CPU, but I don't know. Maybe in the future, if we di if I did have access to different CPUs, because I have a limit here, uh, maybe I would replace it with something else uh, for the mid-range test spec at some point. We'll mm -hmm. see. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, just one thing before we move on there. There's also uh, allocated memory to the OS as well on the consoles. Right? Yeah. I mean, this is the data from launch. It might have changed, but um, you get 12.5 gigs of available memory on PlayStation 5. I think it's something like 13.5 or 13 on Xbox Series. And also, I think the thing that surprises me about the 6.5 cores, again, that's launch information that might have changed, um, is that 
that's a lot of CPU resources for a Zen processor, a Zen 2 processor to be doing essentially the OS and background tasks, uh, which mm-hmm. surprises me. And, uh, and Microsoft, again, they kind of paired that back because they didn't think they needed it. So um, it was just one core and two threads that are reserved for um, background tasks on that's the Xbox interesting. series. Um, that, that could also have perhaps due to, do, this is just theory, this is nothing proven. Um, it's just, you know, PlayStation 5 uses SmartShift. And uh, maybe if another CPU part of that core was uh, used for games and it was, you know, like a really hardcore game was actually um, utilizing that CPU work quite a bit, maybe it would lead to less stable uh, GPU clocks as a result. That's just another yeah, thing. Good point. They, have different, they, have different, but... they have different power concerns on PlayStation I mean, 5. I'm pretty sure this is just literally console versus PC, where on PC they let you sort of, it's like, you, it's up to you. But on the console, <laughs> they want to guarantee a minimum level of performance for the OS tasks, especially because users are you use the OS layer for a lot of things within the game from, you know, multiplayer stuff, voice chat to doing all those weird yeah. tasks that they added to PS5. All this stuff is done at the OS level and they just want to make sure it's fast and not like, say, when they added the cross media bar to PS3 as an accessible oh, yeah. in-game thing and it runs <laughs> terribly. Yeah. That was and crazy. you still have to quit out of the game anyway to do anything on there. It's horrible.